Hello. Today we're going to be fixing this Honda key fob. It belongs to my sister and when she tried to replace the battery in it, the little battery holder on the circuit board ripped off. So let's take a look at what we got going on here. So this is the piece that we need to resolder. There are three points to it. That one there, that one there, and that one there. And these two help hold this battery holder to the circuit board. So we're going to attempt to reflow those today. Let me get my iron heating up and we'll give her a go. A couple quick tips for soldering. Just the tip, mind you, and not for long. I like to take a piece of solder and wrap it around a pencil, like so. Makes it easier to control and keep steady. And always start with a fresh dab of solder on the end of your iron. Alright, so put a little bit of fresh solder on there and I'm going to start with this spot here. Good. And then the other two will try flowing from the back side or the front side, I suppose, if you're looking at it in the key fob. Alright, now looking at the back side of the board, it's that point there and that point there. some wick to clean that up and we'll repeat for this one Alright, so I went ahead and cleaned up some of the burnt flux residue from both sides. And this fits a CR2025. Nice. And before that was just popping right off and wasn't actually getting any any power from the battery. Now let's see if we get any response from the LED. Yep. So, looks like that should work now. Stuff it back in the case here. Feel the buttons clicking. So, and LED still lights up. So, that's it for this one. Thanks for joining me, and catch you next time.